All right, so the very last thing we're gonna wanna do is schedule our display. So you've created your sequences, um, you got everything set up, and now we just wanna use the scheduler to schedule our display. So we're gonna open up X schedule. And the first thing I like to do is I can see here, the window's a little small and I can't see all these buttons. So I wanna make it bigger, I wanna see all the buttons. All right, now it's simple to see. We can go here to playlists, press add, cause we don't have one, create, it's going to create a new playlist. It's going to be called unnamed. We're going to call it just a test playlist for this example. There's some options here about doing the first or the last step only once. For example, if you have a special startup or ending sequence for the start or end of the show, you can shuffle it too. Then we'll go add F sequence. By default, Xlights is creating these automatically as you build your sequences. So I see I've got one here. Killer. So now I've got that in, it's got 30 seconds. It tells me that the whole sequence as well as this one, this whole playlist is 30 seconds. I wanna go here and I can change the file at any point, I can update it. Um, and what I wanna do is just, if it had audio, if it was a musical sequence, I would use this fast start audio. It just helps your computer out. It kind of preloads things for you. Press okay. And now what we're gonna do is press schedule. So we can see here, we can name our schedule again. We can set a start date and an end date. So literally just typing in the date as in a month, day, year, I believe. Pretty simple. And so no month. Yeah, month, day, year. So then you can go ahead and um, you can reschedule whatever dates you want to put in there. Set the days of the week. You can go ahead, there's a set the on time and off time. Then you can have it loop any number of times. Um, like for example, you can have it refire again and again, or just have it loop. It, those two are kind of options there. So you can literally go ahead and just have it loop. So it's just gonna play the same thing over and over again. Or if you have a show that's about an hour long or about 30 minutes long, then you can have it go every 30 minutes. So, totally your choice. We'll press OK. And then we're scheduled. Pretty simple. So it shows here our playlist. Then it shows that we have a schedule that contains it. And we're good to go at that point. The last thing you got to do, very simple, very basic, is just go here, File, Save, boom. Now it's ready to go. You can leave open X schedule and um, your show's going to run. What I like to do is I like to have this on a computer that I don't have on the internet, that I just have talking to my controllers. That's me uh, wanting to keep any updates or anything like that from affecting my computer. And then I just let it run. It's really that simple. So as I mentioned at the end of the last video, for more, check out learnchristmaslighting.com. And I will see you here on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks.